Do you know the best way to measure wet ingredients and dry ingredients? Well, it's pretty easy. Let me show you. If you're measuring dry ingredients, you want to use a dry measuring cup, whether it's stainless steel or plastic. And the whole concept behind this is that it has a flat handle. We simply take the cup, dip it into whatever we're measuring, take a knife, push off the excess, and there you have it, a perfect half cup measure. It's that easy. Now, when you're measuring liquids, what you want to do is you want to use a glass measuring cup that has a spout like this. What you're going to do, let's say we want a cup here. We simply pour it until one cup. So when you pour, you want to make sure you do it on a flat surface. Don't lift up the cup. You want to be able to read it eye level. This way it doesn't slosh all over and you get a perfect reading. Here's another type of measuring cup that you can actually read the amount from the top. So if you want one cup, you pour it right there. And now all you have to do is look right into the cup and you have a perfect measure without bending down. Now if you're measuring something that's really sticky, what you want to do is spray your measuring cup with a nonstick cooking spray. Let's say we're measuring honey or peanut butter. For honey, we just pour it in, measure the amount we need, and now it just pours out without sticking to the cup. Another way to measure sticky ingredients is to use one of these push-up measuring cups. Here you just measure the amount you need, and then you just push it forward, take a knife, and there you have a perfect measure without any sticking. So there you have it, lots of different ways to measure and say, ooh, it's so good.